I'm Manu Ente Reme. Uh, I'm an actor producer. I played Icheb on Star Trek Voyager and Billy on One Tree Hill. And I've done a, a number of uh, other productions, uh, film and television guest stars on different shows and, and films. Uh, I'm also producing now, and the, the film I'm doing at the moment is called The Circuit. And The Circuit is an anthology film. It's 10 stories, 10 directors, and like what, what's different about The Circuit is most anthology films stick to one genre. If you think of VHS or Tales from the Crypt or Creep Show, they're all horror films. If you think of New York Stories or Parish of Tem, they're all about a city and romance, and they stick to they usually stick to one genre. We're doing a multi-genre anthology film where every single story takes place somewhere in the past, present, or future of a pop culture convention weekend. So if you think of the film Galaxy Quest and you mix that with Twilight Zone the movie and fanboys, you're gonna get the circuit. I've always been a huge fan of anthology films and I've never seen an anthology film that decided to do different genres. So, and keep it in one location, but different genres. So that's, that's what exci excites me about making this film. I spent f the last 15 years of my life traveling to science fiction conventions and seeing behind the scenes some of the surreal things that the fans that, a that attend the Comic Cons and the pop culture conventions never see. And I've seen so many weird things that there was not a chance that I couldn't make a movie about them. And so I started to think, how could I do this? Uh, and over the years, it's kind of warped into this. At first, it was going to be a film called Con Men about the promoters that do the conventions, and it was going to be about these guys and their world and how they fight amongst each other and the, the strange, you know, um, sort of evil world of the greed behind pop culture conventions. But then that changed to let's all of the actor friends that I've met from. What's great about pop culture conventions is you get to meet Harry Potter and you get to meet, you know, all everybody from sci-fi and superhero and fantasy and horror and all the you, you'll be hanging out with David Hasselhoff and and Harry Potter and uh, Carrie Fisher at the same time, you know, eating in Italy somewhere and it's just so surreal and so strange. Um, so then it became about what's happening to the actors behind the scenes. All these actors told me these incredible stories about what happened to them at pop culture shows. So then it was going to be just a, just a bunch of stories that they told. And then um, Con Man came out and I saw that, okay, that's too similar to what I was doing, uh, which is basically Alan Tiddick and Nathan Fillion's uh, show about Nate, uh, Alan being a down and out actor that's going to the pop culture conventions and signing his autograph but he's got much more famous friends and I thought that was brilliant, it's going to be great, it is great, it's fantastic. But I said okay so how can I do something different than that? So I decided after all of this to, to make it multi-genre, to tell stories about what happens at conventions but also celebrate the genres of filmmaking that every one of us that comes to pop culture conventions come to celebrate. So it's the whole idea of the film is to celebrate the, the, the genres of filmmaking that we love and, sh and tell stories about the places that we go to celebrate them. What's exciting, uh, what we've done with the circuit also is we've left, we have five really strong screenplays that our writers have written. And they're all 12 to 14 to 16 minutes long. And we're really excited to shoot them, we're really excited to make them. But last year in Germany, I was sitting, I was standing actually at the closing ceremonies and I was looking out at the crowd and there were like 7,500 people there and they were all clapping in unison. In Germany, they clap in unison. So it was just thump, thump, thump and there were these lights and they, you know, uh, Star Trek music playing. And, and I looked out at the crowd and I started to make eye contact with all these people in the crowd 
that I'd met that weekend that had shared some interesting story with me in their life that I had a human connection to. And I realized that what my movie was missing were all the stories out there. And so I went, I've got all these great stories about what happens behind the scenes and w with these actors. And, and of course we fictionalized and genre uh, some of it up. So our, our genre, our fictional stories have a bit of truth to them. And you know, uh, our true stories have a bit of fiction to them. But I realized that half of the story should come from the fans. So the circuit has opened up a screenplay contest. So if you go to www.thecircuitfilm.com and write a one to 20 page screenplay, we have free screenplay software uh, you can download. But you also, if you don't write screenplays, if you just want to write a short story, you can submit your short story with a paragraph summary. And half of the film, half of the anthology film is gonna be stories from the fans. I don't think it's ever been done before, you know. So the the what we're trying to accomplish is we're trying to accomplish the most professional celebrity and fan collaborative project that's ever anthology film that's ever been made. Well, we're we we're halfway there, you know. We've got half of the film written. We're reading through all these submissions that the fans have submitted. We are going to launch our Indiegogo or Kickstarter campaign in September of this year. And that's step one. If the fans like the idea as much as we like the idea, hopefully we'll fund it and we'll be financed and we'll be shooting by uh, probably a month and a half after that. Hopefully uh, we'll go into pre-production for a month and a half and we'll start shooting. And the idea would be to raise enough funds to shoot at a different convention somewhere around the world every single time. To, so take one small talented crew and move them to a new location and a new, con a new convention somewhere around the world. And, and what the neatest thing about pop culture conventions too is some of them only are 500 people big and some of them are 50,000, 100,000 people big. And the differences between what happens at these shows are, are all so strange and different too. So we want to be able to show the whole world of what the pop culture conventions are at the same time as tell interesting Twilight Zone stories, you know. We would love to be in theaters. Uh, we're talking with a bunch of actors right now that would put us in that category. Um, it, we have some announcements to make once we start the campaign that might get some people excited and give us the kind of money that we could end up in theaters. So the, the ultimate goal would be to make this anthology film that comes out in theaters and then stretch it into maybe a TV show for Netflix or Amazon or HBO or something like that. And that would be the ultimate goal for me. Every one of the actors that I've approached about the circuit and about telling behind the scenes stories and adding some fictional elements to it and genre storytelling to uh, the circuit, every one of them has been ex excited to do it. One, because we've written great screenplays, but two, because I think we've all wanted to make a movie about the pop culture convention scene, and it's been 50 years. This is the 50th anniversary of the pop culture convention scene as we know it. I mean, there were science fiction conventions before then, but they were literary, literary for the most part, so this is the 50th year of celebrating uh, pop culture genre filmmaking and television and comic books. So this is the year to make it. So that was the other thing, is that all the actors are like, this is the 50th anniversary, let's tell our story, and let's tell it now. And we're hoping that the fans understand the same thing. This is the year to do it, so let's tell our story together. The other thing we're doing with the circuit is, not only can you write your, your submission and come work and be a writer on the, on the film, but for each segment of the film, anybody that supports the campaign can send in a resume and say that they want to work in a key department, whether it's makeup, visual effects, a hair, art department, camera, and we're going to take one uh, fan and let them intern on a key department of every single episode that we make. So we really are trying to make the most fan collaborative film in the history of time about what we do and what we love. Everybody should watch The Circuit. The circuit is amazing, and if you don't get the concept yet, it's the convention circuit. And what a t the convention circuit attaches geek culture and geek nation 
And Geek Nation is like this term that people use to to talk about the convention circuit, but it's really not nation, it's worldwide. The convention circuit is something that connects thousands and millions of people around the world. It's something that a lot of us love, movie making, genre storytelling. So we're gonna tell the best genres, we're gonna make the best genre films about the place that we love the most to celebrate genre films and mix it all together into one big beautiful film and uh, we hope people enjoy it and come and work on it with us and uh, we all sit and watch it in the theater together.